guys welcome back to my channel I hope you all are doing well so in today's video I have a makeup review for you guys today I'll be reviewing the new morphe and nyan fierce fairy tale lipstick trio so I saw this on Sephora and I was super excited to try out these shades they look really unique and I'm really excited to see how they perform and how they look against my skin tone so if you guys are interested in seeing me swatch these lipsticks and give you guys my honest thoughts on what I think make sure to keep on watching all right you guys so I'm super excited to get started with this lipstick trio so first off let me show you guys the outside packaging of the product I think it looks so beautiful very nice and fairy tale like and in the back there's a little message from Nyan so let me read that for you guys it says that a low-key nude lip finishes off any style swipe on these lippies for all the full coverage super pigmented color you could want so I guess we are hoping to see full coverage and lots of pigment. So let's go ahead in and get started with the first shade. So I just took this out of the packaging and first impressions, I am in love with the packaging and just like the top part, how there's like a nice edge. I did not see that coming. You can't tell when it's the outside packaging on top. You don't notice, but I love that. Such a sleek finish and I'm loving the matte black as well super cute. So the first shade that we'll be trying is the shade Viera and this is apparently a mega matte. It is a super matte lipstick so I'm really excited to try this. So I guess these are supposed to be really nice nudes that are supposed to help finish off your makeup look. Just right off the bat looking at this, this looks super bright. I don't know if this is going to come off as a neutral on me but let's try it on and see. Before I go in and put this on I just want to say how beautiful the lipstick is I love the engraving of Nyan's name on the lipstick I think that is just so cute and such a nice touch so I don't have anything on my lips right now typically I would line my lips but for the sake of the video and the swatches I'm not going to put on any lip liner so I'll actually go ahead in and swatch this on my hand first before I go in onto my lips and wow look at that pigment you guys this is such a bright pink shade definitely not a neutral for me i don't think i own a lipstick this bright and it looks really nice and matte and you can see very very nice pigment i didn't have to use too much product and you can see really nice pigment on my hands so now let's go in to the lips Although this is a matte lipstick, I'm not struggling too much to apply the lipstick. It is gliding on pretty nicely. It's not tugging at my lips, so I do like that. All right, so this is Viera applied, and this is definitely not a neutral, not even a nude against my skin tone. This is like a Barbie pink. I don't think I would ever wear this unless it's for like a costume or there's like a specific thing theme you know with in daisy culture sometimes there are themes and you have to wear bright colors to parties maybe then occasionally i would wear this with daisy clothes but i don't think i would ever gravitate towards this lipstick this is too bright for me not my style at all quality wise it is really good quality although it's matte and you can see there's a nice pigment on the lips. It's very opaque. It's not drying. So my lips are not dry. So I do like the quality. I'm just not here for this color, you guys, at all. But the quality of the lipstick is really nice. So the next shade that we'll be trying is the shade Tau. And this is also a mega matte lipstick. Um, something else that I wanted to point to your attention in regards to the packaging of the lipstick is that the top part of the lipstick has the Morphe sign on it. As you guys can see, I thought that was really, really 
pretty, a really nice touch. I'm definitely a fan of the packaging. I think they did an amazing job. So the next shade is looking like an orange shade. This is also very bright, just like the pink one. So I'm really excited to see how it looks against my skin tone. I do like orange toned lipsticks. I will sometimes play with a little bit of a brighter orange toned lipstick, mainly in this spring summertime. So I'm excited to see if I actually like this one. So I'll go ahead in and swatch it on my hand first so you guys can see. So that was just a couple of swipes and you guys can see how beautifully pigmented this color is. It's a really nice orange coral shade. I used to have headphones in this color, Beats, so that's what it's reminding me of. Very cute color. I think I might like this in the summer. Let's give it a try on the lips. So this one is similar consistency to the pink lip shade. Um, it is nice and soft and it's gliding onto the lips. I am having to just layer the lipstick a little bit just to get more uh, pigment, but for the most part, it's not too bad. You can see it's looking very lovely. This is a very bright coral shade. I feel like I really need a lip liner. Like I'm itching to grab a lip liner right now just to make it work. Let me finish the lip application to show you guys and then maybe I'll go in with a lip liner to show you guys kind of how I would make this lip color work and how I would want to wear it. So this is Tau Applied, you guys. Oh my god, I don't think I've ever worn such a bright, vibrant, like neon orange lipstick before. Um, don't think I could ever wear this um, Maybe for again a special occasion, a summertime party, um, you know, a themed party. Maybe it'll go well with a costume, um, or maybe you can make it work. So, I really honestly am feeling up for the challenge. I want to make this lipstick work. So, I'm going to grab a darker toned lip liner and see what I can do. So, for lip liner, I grabbed the shade um, BFF4 by ColourPop. This is like a dark brown. So, I'm going to go ahead and just outline the lips a little bit and try to create a nice ombre look. So this lip liner really helped kind of neutralize the lips a little bit, made it look a little bit more wearable. Um, I feel like without lip liner, you can look really just pasty. It just didn't look right in my opinion. So this is kind of working. I do like this. Um, definitely better than what I had before the lip liner. So I feel like you can do this technique with the pink uh, lipstick that I tried on first as well. Um, something else that I wanted to touch on is that these lipsticks may not be working on their own for me, but I can definitely use them to layer with other lip colors and mix and match until I find like that perfect shade that I want for my makeup look that day. So I'll definitely put these lipsticks to use. Um, I think it'll be great for layering. You can see with just a little bit of lip liner, you can really make these lipsticks work. And the very last lipstick that I'll be trying is the shade Gia and I'm really excited. This looks like a really nice dark brown. Let me open it up. Wow, this looks like a beautiful chocolate brown, milk chocolate brown shade. I think I'm going to love this. I love dark shades on my lips. So let's go ahead in and swatch it on the hands first. So that's how it looks on my hand. This looks like a really nice like red toned brown Super cute. You can see there is really nice pigment on here. So that's great. Wow. I feel like out of the three lipsticks, this one definitely has the most pigment. So my top lip is a little bit darker than my bottom lip. So I find that, you know, it's harder to get a really nice lip application on the top lip. I usually have to go in with a little bit more layers versus the bottom lip. But with just one swipe, you can see there is really nice 
pigment the lips look nice and opaque so I definitely am liking this one a lot all right so this is Gia applied and I am obsessed this is definitely my favorite out of the three I love it it's just a beautiful color I would definitely rock this in the fall um, or even just an evening look it's a nice dark shade I love the tint of red that it has it's a really warm toned brown shade um i find the quality out of the three lipsticks this one has the best quality like i mentioned earlier so yeah this is the last lip shade you guys and i am in love all right you guys so that is pretty much it for today's makeup review on the morphe and nyan lipstick trio um overall my final honest thoughts are that i'm okay with this lip trio i I only really liked one out of the three lip shades um, which is the one that I'm wearing the very last one that I tried um, I do feel like you know it's possible to make these lipsticks work with other lip products in your lipstick collection whether that's another lipstick that you're mixing it with or some lip liner or some gloss or even mixing and matching these three together I feel like even just a little bit of the orange one on top of the dark shade or even a little bit of the pink would create a really nice ombre look so I feel like they're great to have in your collection to play with other products on their own I don't love the first two I only really like the last one um, would I purchase this again probably not um, because I only like a third of the products in this trio kit um, so overall I feel like it's a no for me um, if I could go back in time I probably wouldn't have purchased this but for the sake of the video and to give you guys a review I purchased it um, so let me know in the comments down below did you guys try out these lipsticks do you guys like them do you not like them let me know your thoughts in the comments I'd love to have a chat if you guys have suggestions on videos you would like to see from me um, whether that's a makeup tutorial a specific tutorial or if there's a product you want me to review or anything that you want to see from me make sure to leave a comment down below and I'll definitely try and follow up on those if you guys haven't subscribed already make sure you're subscribed to my channel and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you never miss an upload and you guys that is pretty much it I want to thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next one bye guys